Welcome everybody. So I've got the gingerly beautiful recipe for you today. It's one of my favourites, especially in winter. I still want those beautiful nourishing beauty blend tonic herbs coming in. That's the goji, the shizandra, the longan, all the magic that they're doing for the liver. They're very unique antioxidants, their protection of the eyes. But then you've got the pearl in there as well, which is beautiful. My liver in particular, a lot of people's liver needs a little bit of cooling and the Pearl, microgram pearls coming in and doing that. It's really amazing. Um, and then all the other beautiful things it's doing for the metabolism of the skin. But we're doing it in a nice, spicy, warming tonic. Perfect for these winter months. You can see I've even got a long sleeve shirt and not a single on today, which is amazing. I know, right? And it's not just because they're all dirty and in the wash and I had to resort to this. But we're going to be bringing in a bit of cinnamon, a bit of ginger in there to really get the digestion going, help us build that blood. But we'll get that into a second. So I've got a nub of the ginger I'm going to tear off here, nice and fresh. So we all know ginger, what that's going to be doing, and it's definitely going to be bringing some warming in there. And it's going to definitely, um, you know, just get like get our stomach juices and that whole peristalsis and that movement of our GI tract happening. Um, you know, if you're experiencing any nausea or anything like that, always a great inclusion to having your tea there. So I'm just going to like just get a little bit of a crushing uh, just to get those aromatics coming out. It's already firing up into my nose there. So um, I'm just like I'm just pumping the ginger at the moment. Like probably every every second or third day, I'm having one of these and. I just don't really feel the difference as well, especially if I'm like, if I'm working a lot, which I have been, you know, you see that sign of stress come when you, um, you know, you're not really getting that circulation really rocking through your system, you, you know, you can think it's just because of the weather a lot of the time that your hands and feet are getting cold, um, which maybe that's the case, but at the same time, there could be that fact that you're just putting a little bit too much uh, stress on your, your spleen, your liver, and your heart, and so you're not actually getting that, um, that circulation of the blood, and maybe not building that nourishing blood as well, that's why it's so really important in these colder months for us to be like having a really nice blood building nourishing diet at the same time. But I digress, so I've got my fresh ginger in there, got my boiling water, which I made this earlier. So I'm going to start just getting that infused there. Oh yeah. So I want it to be nice and strong, so I'm just going to put in as much as I need. I'm going to pop that on top. There we go. So I'm just going to do a little decoction there, a little infusion of that ginger. And now I'm going to start building the tonic with the rest of the goodies. So we'll start, we've gone herbaceous with the, you know, in our, with our tea with the ginger, and I'm going to stay herbaceous and spicy and hot, hot, hot with the cinnamon. So cinnamon, absolutely incredible yang jing herb, right? And so when you get into these winter months, you know, we really want to be nourishing our kidneys, nourishing our adrenals, and we're doing that to an extent with the cinnamon. It's actually up there as a prized yang jing herb. But I really like in these months, I've got like roughly like quarter teaspoon, you know, just between quarter and a half, you know, guys, mad scientists, you know, we'll give you recipe, um, a recipe, like a recipe down below, but you know, do what rocks for you. I really, really am loving cinnamon. Um, always when I get into these months, I start bringing it into my system because as a blood builder, far out is incredible. And it's a really hot herb. It's not just a warming herb like um, the chisandra and the goji might be slightly warming in there, in that beauty blend. The cinnamon's hot. And for really bringing that vitality and that ability for us to move chi through the heart, through our meridians to those those little meridian capillaries right at the edge of our limbs, cinnamon's really magic for it. And so if you, if you know, really have a problem with that circulatory uh, system, if you're getting cold, cold hands and feet, that inner bark of the cinnamon's like absolute magic. So we've got that going on there, that beautiful blood builder, and then beauty blend neck. So as I said, goji, shizandra, then the longan. So they're the three beauty sisters of the Orient, right? They're really like absolutely incredible fruity, nourishing the shizandra going and entering in all those five major organs, beautiful protector of the liver. And then you've got the goji coming off the other side of that with its betaine, with its very unique antioxidants as well. And that combination as well is absolutely magical for the lungs, right? And so we want to make sure we're doing as many herbs to really protect our, um, you know, our lungs, is that, that organ system which is really exposed to the atmosphere. So we want to make sure we're doing as much as possible to protect that, um, that surface immunity. So you're doing that for the goji and the shizandra combination, it just happens to be rad that they're epically beautifying and you get them into the diet long term we start to you know really gingerly step forward into the beautification protocol that, that makes us realize it's not about anything external and really that vibrancy that we know experience is purely ours that we all really um 
we, we dream about, but we don't dream about it because it's a superficial external, it's going to be featured in Clio kind of beauty. It's that kind of beauty that we can feel because our lungs are nourished, our healthy, our immune system's really, like, you know, really rocking, especially on that surface level, and our liver's flowing, you know, our liver's having a real sweet time, as sweet as we can make it, you know, in, in removing toxicity and getting that into the digestive system, you know, with our, with our other supplements or clays and zeolites and our, you know, our dietary fiber, we're getting that out of the body, right? That's the stuff that, you know, over time, we really start feeling this endogenous, uh, endogenous beauty and radiance come through. And that's what this blend's all about. Longan's in there, dragon eyes, absolute magic herb. That's the third sister that's getting in, especially to the spleen and doing some like real magic tonification of the heart, right? So we already see spleen, lung, heart, liver, especially liver. We see where the radiance is coming from um, in the beauty blend. And then of course, my favorite, the micro ground pearl, far out. What that's doing to help the skin metabolize, get toxicity out of the skin, bringing that coolness to the liver, bringing a flow to the liver, and then just mineralizing, right? You know, just that magical amount of minerals, right? You've got the, gera um, the germanium, uh, the, the, you know, the natural, actually absorbable calcium coming through. It's like a mineral um, supplement in, its, in itself. So, big fan of um, whacking that in there. And so that's the beauty blend. So I've got about a half teaspoon. You can go, you know, you can start with a quarter teaspoon with wherever you're at in your protocol, but you, know, you can get up to like a half, half teaspoon to a teaspoon a day. And then the tremella mushroom, of course that's not in a jar, I've always got at least a bag of tremella rocking. So tremella, the, um, the beautiful, um, you know, beautifying medicinal mushroom, we say beautifying because that's really coming in and bringing this mucilaginous yin nourishing to the stomach. You know, if any, infl any inflammatory issues going on in the stomach, we can contribute to bringing those into, um, under control and energetically bringing the yin into the stomach and as well as bringing that lubrication and that yin essence to the lungs. Remember, it is a medicinal mushroom. We're growing it on its, um, you know, on its, the food that it prefers on wood, so it's going to have those epic beta-glucans rocking through there, so immunologically, it's supporting the lung as well. They use it clinically. If there was any like real rasping cough, right, they'd be using that in dry cough. They'd be using tremella, but then from a longevity, longevity of your beauty, beauty perspective, tremella's in the system always, always, always it's helping plump up the skin as well, acting like hyaluronic acid. Yes, acting like hyaluronic acid. That's what the um, polysaccharides are doing in that, in that beautiful tremella mushroom. Okay, so now, all I need to do is add my tea. Now, of course, honey is in the recipe. I'm kind of not feeling like having sweetness today, um, personally. I'm going to give my spleen a little bit of a break from that heat, so I'm just going to go straight for the ginger tea, but by all means, um, it's beautiful adding a little bit of honey into this recipe. So, I always want to make sure all these powders dissolve, so I'm just going to like slowly add a little bit in and then just give it a swirl so there's not many pockets in there. Um, the, the beauty blend especially, you need to kind of give it a little bit, a little bit of, a, of love in stirring that up so that it's not clumping, but it doesn't take much. Just make sure your water's like nice and super hot, nearly as hot as that cinnamon is energetically. There we go, that's all stirred up really nicely. Yeah, it's just nice and aromatic. You know, you've got the cinnamon coming through on the nose, the ginger coming through on the nose, the body knows what's going on. It's a huge part of this. Sensor, sensory activation. Your organs get a sense of what's coming in. That's how you start to develop a, an understanding of what these herbs are. That's the language of your organs and your meridians. You know, really starting to go, all right, I can feel what's going on here. And you can take a moment. That's why it's nice and why we do. When we have a tea or a tonic, we just take a moment to pause, feel what's going on internally, feel like what's going on energetically. And then likewise, after we have a sip, which are we doing now, feel how, you know, just feel how my organs are responding to that. So let's have a little bit. So good. Beautiful, guys. I probably personally could have done way more ginger in there, really give me that punch, but it's definitely there. It's definitely there on the tongue. And for those of you that want that little bit of a sweetness, so it's got a little bit of character, by all means, add that honey in there. But there you go, guys. Gingerly beautiful recipe. The beautifying tonic herbs and the berries, the three sisters and the pearl from the beauty blend and the tremella in there. Really nice way for you to integrate them into your life.